Hey everyone, what's up? It's Zachary back again with another video. Um, again, it has been a little while since I posted. Um, I got quite a bit busy. I actually um, launched an online store, which is really exciting. I've got a bunch of necklaces and some bags that I've made, um, all out of secondhand materials. My brand is called Past Premise because I make everything from items of the past and give them a new life. But actually, I'll show you some of the products really quick. One second. So I've got eight of the ten necklaces still available. Um, and obviously definitely will be restocks in the future of new. They're all one of one pieces, but this one I am in love with. It's called Oil Slick. Very like chunky and funky. This one's called Sea and Sky. Very pretty. I love the little circular ones. This one's called Cherry Spheres. And it's very nice. All different red beads. Very cute. And they all have uh, an adjustable thing. They're all kind of around the same length, but uh, it says each of the lengths on the listings. And then I'll go grab the bags to show you as well. Here are the bags. All five of them are still available um, as of right now. Um, and yeah, I'm calling it the daily basis bag because it's kind of like the perfect size for just your everyday items. Um, it's got my fancy little label on it, past premise, they're all faux leather, um, all purchased secondhand, the faux leather was, um, and then the straps are upcycled from, um, thrifted bags as well, zipper as well, pretty much everything is secondhand materials of these bags. Um, and yeah, the strap is adjustable, so it's very unisex, can be worn as kind of like a shoulder bag or a crossbody. Um, yeah, so very adjustable to your needs and your preferences, and it's got this very nice quilted design, all handmade by me. So yeah, if you want to check these out, um, link down below, pastpremise.com, and I'll put the brand Instagram as well. And yeah, alright, I'll put these away and then we'll get into the video. Now, we can actually get into this week's video. Uh, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be altering some swim trunks that I have thrifted. Uh, summer's obviously upcoming, so gotta get ready. Uh, pretty much for both of these, I'm just going to be shortening them, so I'm just going to be showing you how I do that and take you through the process. Alright, these are the first ones. As you can see, they're just like all the way down to the knee, and just not attractive, I think. Um, short inseams are way more attractive, show off a bit more of the leg. So I think what I'm gonna be doing, I also am gonna be cutting out like the little mesh liner thing, just cause it's kinda like tugging weird, I feel like, and they'll fit better without it in there, and be more comfortable. So I'll cut that out, and then I'm pretty much, I think just gonna leave like a little band of the white here, that's why I'm going to be hemming it, kind of like right there. Alright, here we are at the cutting table. Got this pair laid out. Um, so I want probably like three quarters of an inch about of the green, or of the white rather, to show once the hem is finished. So I'm going to cut about like an inch additional so that I can have that folded hem as I've shown in previous videos, but I will show again in this video. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna measure about 1.75 off of the green material so that I have that 0.75 or three quarters of an inch that will be still shown and then the additional inch that will be folded up to complete the hem. I'm gonna pin the front and the back so that the line is fully symmetrical from the front to the back so I can just cut through all at once and don't have to worry about it being uneven from the front to the back. So as you can see I've got this one side all pinned so that those green lines are matched up. That way I can just cut it all at once and won't worry about anything being misaligned or anything. So I'm going to take, as I say every time, my handy dandy grid ruler. These are amazing. If you've never seen or used one, they have all the measurements and you can see through so you can line it up like this, kind of through the fabric. So I'm going to be looking to line it up at 
1.75 or 1 and 3 quarter inches. Take my also handy dandy rotary cutter um, and slice it up. There we go. One smooth cut. Got some excess fabric that we'll use for something down the line. Always save that stuff. Um, and yeah, as you can see, since I pinned it, it's got an even um, white piece on the front and the back. And yeah, then I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. And I'll see you once that's done. Alright, got the other side done, and they're looking so much better already. And yeah, as I said also, when I was trying them on, I'm going to be cutting out this like net lining piece. Just because... Um, it is quite uncomfortable and just doesn't fit well and they will the shorts will fit a lot better when it's not in there So I'm gonna go ahead cut this out uh, Yeah, just being careful not to cut through any of the like main swimsuit material or the pockets or anything All right perfect That's done with so now I'm gonna head over to the iron and show you how I prepare the hem to be sewn. So while the iron's heating up, I'm going to kind of explain what I'm going to be doing with the shorts. So I'm going to flip them inside out because I'm going to be folding the hem up toward the inside. When you're finishing a hem, you want to not have any raw edges on the inside just so that you avoid any fraying down the line. Um, and it just looks better as well. So I'm going to be taking this part folding up a half an inch, and then up a half an inch again. And then that is where I will have my final sewn line right along here. And that will leave this finished product on the outside, just that thin white line. To make those lines extra nice and crisp, I use the iron. Um, sometimes I measure it, but I think for today I'm just going to kind of eyeball a half inch. Once you do it enough times, you kind of just and visualize and it doesn't have to be super precise for this as long as the whole hem is a consistent length then it doesn't matter that it's like the exact measurement at least in my opinion so we are all done with that first side as you can see it's got the double fold up and that will give us that very clean edge on the inside which I'll show you once I sew it so I'm just going to do the exact same thing to the other side and then I'll see you over at the sewing machine. All right, we're at the good old sewing machine. I have flipped the shorts right side out and pinned every once in a while, um, just to keep everything aligned. Uh, it's somewhat unnecessary to pin, just because I do have it um, ironed and all in place, so. But it just will make it a little bit easier, make sure nothing uh, goes awry. Um, and yeah, let's just get started with sewing it just on a straight stitch. And it's not the smallest hole, but since we are gonna be sewing in the round, as they say, I'm gonna take this little piece off my machine just so that we can really um, get in there. You can kinda like slide the little leg hole onto the machine. Um, it just makes everything a little bit easier. I'm just gonna start on the inner leg seam just because that will hide the beginning and ending of the stitch. Um, yeah, I'm going to be sewing at just under the half an inch mark, just so that it for sure catches all of the, um, like the folded material. Uh, just if I sew right at the half inch, it could kind of go off and then we would miss it and not create the seam that we want to create. So, yeah, I'm going to be sewing just under that half inch mark. First side is complete. The, it's the side that's done. Uh, looks quite great if I do say so myself. I'm just gonna finish up sewing the other side off camera and then I will show you the final result. Such a transformation. They look so much better. Um, I love how like the little band matches the little side stripe now. They look very simple but cute. They look like 80s vibes I think. Um, uh, fit very, very well, very happy with them, um, definitely more comfortable without that lining in there as well, and yeah, can't wait to wear these. First pair done, now 
Uh, let's get started on the second pair. Here's the second pair. Definitely not as extremely long as the previous ones, but I believe they would look better even shorter than they are. So I'm going to pretty much be going, if you can see it right under where this pocket is, because I still want this zipper pocket to be functional. So I'll be taking about like two inches off and just be kind of hemming right where that is. And I think that length is much more flattering. All right, let's get to cutting the second pair. So as I said, I want that final hem to be right at the line of these pockets right there. Um, so I'm going to cut an inch longer than that. So it looks like the pocket is slightly crooked, like it's not fully aligned with the bottom hem. So I'm actually going to mark up, up from the base hem just so that nothing is crooked or anything. And just go to approximately where there's one inch. So it looks like I'm going one and a half inches from the bottom hem. There we go. Take my rotary cutter. There we go. As you can see, not very much material compared to the other ones, but even that little bit will make a big difference. And now I'm going to head over to the iron. Do the same thing that I did with the previous pair, and then I'm not going to show that because it's basically the exact same thing, and I will meet you at the sewing machine. Alright, we have got the seams all pressed, and the shorts are flipped back right side out, and pinned, all ready to sew. So pretty much the same as the first pair. I'm going to start at that inner leg seam, just because it's the most hidden and go from there. And I got a little lazy and didn't pull out the pins as I go, but you should. I just didn't feel like it. All right, and that one is looking pretty good. The blue is not like a perfect match, but it looks good enough. And yeah, so I'm gonna do the other side off camera and I'll show you the finished results of these ones. Here they are. So much better, and I barely took any off, like just like two inches probably, but it looks way better in my opinion. Every, all the pockets are still functional. Um, yeah, I think they turned out amazing as well. I think uh, the first pair is my favorite just because of the color, but these ones are definitely super functional and very excited to use these. Um, and yeah, uh, I don't think I mentioned it, but I did end up keeping the lining in these ones because it's just a way better material. It's not like that cheap white material that is in most swimsuits. Uh, this one actually had one that's pretty comfortable. And yeah, so yeah, hopefully you learned something from this or just enjoyed watching. Hopefully this inspires you to go to your local thrift store, maybe do a little upcycle or some alterations to make things perfect for you. If you enjoyed, you can subscribe for more videos in the future. I will be more consistent from now on. You can hold me to that. Peace. See you in the next one. Yay!